Okay, so I'm sure all of you know that this Mambo Twist hair has been sold out everywhere. So I'm trying an alternative. And this hair is... Uh, I can't really say if it's going to compare to the Mambo Twist because I haven't used it. But it's Kekalon, same fiber, so we're going to give it a try. I'm using this new product. It's an edge control with black dye in it. So it's supposed to control your edges while also giving it a fuller look. If you have thinner edges like me, this is a great product. I did like how it came out. When you first put it on, it's a little pasty, but as you comb through it, it um, blends in very well with your hair. So, doing the basic crochet method with these twists, just pulling it through. And my braid pattern was just a couple of braids braided to the back and then straight back and then the back is braided across going up. So for the front of my hair, I want to have it so that the knots are not showing and also give myself a little bit more height in the front. So what I'm going to do is pull the loop or the twist through like I normally would, except this time I'm going to pull just one side of the twist through the loop and then pull it tight to create a knot. So you open up the loop. You pull one side of the twist through, pull tight to make a knot, and then see how it overlaps and you cannot see the knots. I'm going to do that to this braid and the opposite braid so that when I flip my hair over to the side, you won't be able to see any of the knots. Okay, so I have unraveled every twist and of course this is how it looks before you take it a step further like you know I like it <laughs> so I'm going to unravel it a second time because I want it to be big so I'm just gonna take one side and just separate that and then I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side of the twist and I'm making sure that I'm trying to not create so much frizz so take your time when you're unraveling these because you don't want it to become so frizzy and this hair is nice it has a nice sheen to it it's not not too shiny but it's it has just enough shine so it doesn't look dry because you know that kinkalon hair can tend to be and I'm, I'm hope I'm saying it right. Kinecolon. Okay, I'm sure you guys are gonna correct me in the comments. But that hair tends to appear, you know, kind of dry. So I like it. It has a nice shine to it, and I love the curl pattern. This is the finished look, and see how my edges blended in well. It's a nice soft hold. <laughs> 
nice and full. I love you guys. Stay tuned. Subscribe, like, and share, and live life on purpose with purpose. Mwah.